Good morning, class 10A. I am Ms. Deshu. This is video number 5 for the topic Organisms and their Environment. In this topic, we are going to see a subtopic for today is Nutrient Cycles. The references are in the course book, page 270 and 273. So let's get started. So up to now we have learned about the organisms, types of organisms. For example, there are uh, carnivores, herbivores, decomposers like that. So if we are studying uh, an ecosystem, in this ecosystem we, we, are, uh, uh, we have to know that decomposers are the very important group of organisms. Why? What are decomposers? And what is the role they are taking in the ecosystem? So, let's learn about it. What are decomposers? Vital components of the nutrient cycle. These are very important components of the nutrient cycle. So, today we are going to see some nutrient cycles. In that cycles, we are going to see about the decomposers also. So, first we will learn about the decomposers. These are the vital components of the nutrient cycle and also these are the organisms of an a bacterium or fungus that feeds on and breaks down dead plants and animal matter that making organic nutrients available to the ecosystem this is the role doing by the decomposers these are the organisms helping all the organisms in the ecosystem they feed on waste material from animals and plants and on their dead bodies. By feeding on the waste of the plants and animals, this the ecosystem can be cleaned by them. And not only that, the dead bodies, they are feeding on the dead bodies also. That means if the, uh, for example, the dead bodies all should be, all if the, all are on the earth like that, fallen like that, the decomposers are not doing their work means, we will see all the dead bodies on the earth same like that and by that we will have more diseases and and more then you can and that means you can understand that so these decomposers are many we have so mainly we can say fungi and bacteria are the main decomposers here you can see we have an examples of decomposers here Worms, that means we can say earthworm, mushroom, insects, bacteria. These are the types of decomposers. Okay, is that clear? So by this we can we have understood that decomposers are extremely important because they help to release substances from dead organisms so that they can be used again by the living things. So in the uh, nutrient cycles, these are helping more and more. So, not only that, so um, two of these substances, that means in the, uh, when these are doing their work, that means when the decomposition is happening, in these two of these substances, that means they are called carbon and nitrogen is playing an important role. That means two of the substances are carbon and nitrogen. So today we are going to see the carbon cycle. So this is the carbon cycle. You can see the picture here. From the sunlight here you can see sunlight. You know that the process uh, for the plants is doing by the using by the sunlight is called photosynthesis. Okay. This is the inorganic carbon removed from atmosphere by trees and plants. So in this we are going to describe the carbon cycle limited to photosynthesis, respiration, feeding, decomposition, fossilization and also including combustion. So let's get started with one by one. Well in this we say carbon is a very important component of living things because it is an essential part of carbohydrates, fats and proteins. So by this we can understand that in the ecosystem how the carbon circulates through, for, uh, through an 
ecosystem. So the air contains about 0.04% of carbon dioxide. The air which is present in our atmosphere, it is containing about 0.04% of carbon dioxide. When plants, uh, they make the photosynthesis, they are in the process of photosynthesis, carbon atoms from carbon dioxide becomes part of glucose molecules in the plant. Like this, in the process of photosynthesis, inorganic carbon is removed from the atmosphere by the, by the trees and plants. We know this very well. From the beginning onwards, we know that what is photosynthesis. Trees are taking carbon dioxide from the atmosphere. So, like this, when the process of photosynthesis is taking place, carbon atoms are uh, mixed with the um, glucose, glucose molecules in the plant. In the same way, when the respiration is going on, that time the carbon dioxide is releasing to back to the atmosphere. Okay, they are taking in the carbon dioxide for the photosynthesis and for the respiration process, they are giving out carbon dioxide into the atmosphere. Okay, when the plants and trees get, uh, making the respiration process, that time the carbon is uh, the carbon in the glucose becomes part of the carbon dioxide molecule again by that it is released back into the air so if we are coming to the feeding process some of the carbon in the plant will be eaten by the animals these animals respire releasing some of it back into the air as carbon dioxide when these animals eat, uh, when these animals take the food from the plants, that time the carbon atoms will be taken by the animals and when they respire, these carbon dioxide will be releasing again back into the atmosphere. Usually when the life finishes, all the living organisms will be dying. So, when the plants or animals die, decomposers will feed on them as we talked before about the decomposers. So, when they died, plants or animals, when they died, decomposers will feed on them. So, here you can see in the picture, dead organisms and waste products. Okay, organic carbon from fossils of animals and plants stored for millions of years. This we already know that. When the plants and animals died, these all will be uh, work done by the decomposers and they will be undergrounded. Yes, and when the uh, work done by the decomposers, the living things, uh, sorry, the dead organisms, they will leave the organic organ, mm, sorry, they will leave the carbon into the atmosphere. And also, uh, they will become fossils and fossil fuels. So, when the animals or plants dies, decomposers will feed on them and the carbon is released into the atmosphere, I am saying. But how it is uh, releasing into the atmosphere? The carbon becomes part of the decomposers when they feed on the dead bodies and the waste matters which are uh, in the ecosystem the carbon becomes a part of the decomposer, decomposer's bodies. And then when they have a respiring process, they release carbon dioxide into the air again. So by all these process for, called so photosynthesis, respiration, fossilization, feeding, and like this all the uh, pollution, these all the process are resulting in giving carbon dioxide into the atmosphere so we can think that uh, giving more uh, like this more uh, carbon dioxide into the atmosphere it will be getting more warmer yes yes so this is uh, we already know that the earth's atmosphere contains several different gases that act like a blanket to keep the earth warm we know this already the atmosphere is a mixes of gases. 
so these all the gases are behaving like a blanket on the earth not to get and uh, sorry to keep the earth warm they are sometimes also called we can call them as a greenhouse gases the most important uh, of these gases is carbon dioxide so that is why we need carbon dioxide also more in the atmosphere so by the by these all the process we are getting more carbon dioxide into the atmosphere carbon dioxide is a transparent to short wave radiation from the sun okay so the sunlight passes freely through the atmosphere and reaches the ground the ground is warmed by the radiation emits longer wavelength infrared radiation so by this we can say carbon dioxide does not let all of this infrared radiation pass through much of it much of it is kept in the atmosphere so most of the amount most amount of the carbon dioxide is kept in the atmosphere making the atmosphere warmer this is called greenhouse effect because it is similar to the effect which keeps an unheated greenhouse warmer than the air outside so like this the carbon dioxide is helping the earth so like this we can understand the nutrient cycle about carbon cycle so here you can see how the processes are helping to release the carbon dioxide into the atmosphere the first one we have learned is photosynthesis and then the respiration by the plants after that feeding by the animals and then respiration by the animals also root respiration okay and then combustion when we cook the food we are also emitting a warmer gases uh, into the atmosphere so the inorganic or car carbon is released into the atmosphere by the combustion process also after that fossilization when the dead animals and plants they will become fossils and fossil fuels after that the decomposition we have learned decaying organisms is that clear about carbon cycle okay so this is the nutrient cycle carbon cycle we have finished this is the part 1 okay so meet in the part 2 that we will be discussing about water cycle okay that's all for the part 1 now thank you sorry one more thing now open your uh, notebook and copy down the carbon cycle roughly and go back to the slide number 1 this one and write the question what are decomposers and write down the answer there okay thank you